What's up guys, Minecraft PV here and today I wanted to discuss BHeli32. Uh, pretty much wanted to show you guys um, where to get it, uh, where to get the suite from so you can change all the settings on your ESCs, change the motor direction, uh, also update the firmware, and uh, pretty much show you all the little features that BHeli32 does have uh, that you can take advantage of. So let's go ahead and get started. Alright guys, around the computer and we have uh, first thing you want to go ahead and do once you get your B Heli 32 ESCs uh, for instance I'm using the B Heli 32 Wraith 35 amp ESCs on the quadcopter I'm doing this on uh, yours might be different uh, but it all will be the same um, website and everything else so let's go ahead and go to bheli32.com and then you want to go to the download section and then go to the latest BL, BL Heli suite and then there'll be two versions. You want the second version right down here. It says Suite 32. That's the one you want to download. This one is the regular version for BHeli SESCs. Uh, so you want to click on this, unzip it, then install on your computer, and then you can create a shortcut to your desktop. So once you have that done, I already have that done on my end. Is we'll go ahead and load up BHeli 32. So I give you these weird warnings. Just hit run anyway. And this is pretty much the initial screen you'll get. So let's go ahead and connect your ESCs up. Now, first thing you need to go ahead and do is plug in your flight controller to your quadcopter. And then what you want to go ahead and do is click read. Well, not read setup. Uh, you want to hit connect. And it's going to say that. So what you want to go ahead and do is use the COM port you usually use. It's COM3 on my computer. Yours will change. So whatever your uh, this thing is on, COM2, whatever, the virtual COM port is what you want. So then you want to hit connect. Then you want to hit check. And it's going to say nothing's there. That's because you need to go ahead and plug in your ESCs. So let me go ahead and plug in the ESCs. And it would be a good idea if you had your props off. You never know, so just go ahead and unplug them. Um, take them off your quadcopter if you can. So I plugged it in. And then you want to go ahead and hit check. And then it's going to check them all. And there you go. They're all four of them are on there. So that's good. And the first thing you want to go ahead and do probably is flash your ESCs. So let's go ahead and click on B, uh, flash B heli and look for the say something like this, Rev 32.4 and then you hit yes, I want to flash it and it writes flash and you have to do this on each individual one, I haven't figured out a way where you can do every single one so um, I'm not going to bore you with me doing every single one but that's pretty much how you do that um, but if you want to go ahead and flash another one Yes, and then see down here it has the ones or whatnot. You want to go ahead and do is make sure that it all went on the same one. See this one says 32.4, this one says 32.3, so they all didn't flash. So what you have to do to flash each individual one down here on the tab is uncheck one, uncheck three, uncheck four, then hit two, then hit be heli flash, hit OK hit yes again and then it'll flash us the ESC number two and then you just repeat that for all four so once this is go ahead and this is done um, I'll show you another couple things that you'll probably want to do you know right off the bat alright that's done and so Pretty much, I mean, you can go two ways with the BHeli 32 ESCs. I mean, you can just do it real basic. The really only thing you probably need to go in here for most, maybe 90% of the people, um, is just changing your motor direction. So right here is where you can change your motor direction from normal, reversed, bidirectional 3D, or the other one, 3D revision or whatever. Um, and you just do that by, say, if I wanted to um, reverse my number one, you just go ahead and uncheck those, hit you know reversed, 
and then hit write setup and then I'll go ahead and write the setup but I don't want to do that so I'm gonna leave that as normal um, and then other than that um, some ESCs also do have LEDs and this is where you'll pick your LED functions and you can make different colors off of these too so if you have like you know green and red or whatever whatever color that will make um, but you can play around with that that's a little neat little feature you can have um, another little thing you can do also do is this music editor. You can also flash um, music onto your um, quadcopter. I know on one of my quads I have like the Game of Thrones theme comes on. It's pretty long, so I don't. I won't do that on all my quads because it's just kind of annoying. Um, but that's pretty much the basic things that you probably want to know um, when you're in Beheli 32. Um, there's a lot of other options you have here too. Um, now. Some ESCs will have them and some ESCs won't. You also see um, voltage protection. Um, this one does not, not voltage protection, but um, yeah, voltage protection, where you can um, limit how much current uh, will go to the ESCs. So, say you have like a really powerful motor um, and some really, you know, um, I guess high um, amperage draw batteries, uh, you can limit to only be like 40 amps on the ESC. Uh, these ESCs don't have them, but there's Beheli 32 ESCs that do. Um, so I just pretty much just want to go over the settings uh, so you guys know what exactly they do. Um, so we have ramp up power right here on the top left. Um, that's pretty much just related to how much power, um, maximum power uh, that the um, voltage is going to go to the ESCs when you first power them up. Um, so you can pretty much just leave that alone and leave it at 50%. There's really no reason to really mess with it. <clears throat> and then we have temper projection. This is pretty much just how hot the ESCs will go into until they get into like a limp mode to where they'll just, you know, limit power uh, till the temperature comes back up. Um, then we have uh, low RPM power protection. That's pretty much the same thing. It just prevents the ESCs from desyncing. Um, so, I mean, you can pretty much just leave that on. There's no reason to shut it off. Then we have low voltage protection. Um, that's really, um, it's off of mine, and I really wouldn't probably recommend to sh put it on. Uh, I could if you want to, but it could cause some issues um, if you are going down, you know, going down the road. It's pretty much self-explanatory. Uh, then we also have current protection as well. Uh, that's pretty much just the amperage that's going to be going through the ESCs. Um, you can pick to put that on or off. It's up to you. I just leave mine off because there's no reason. I, I don't pull enough amps to feel like that's going to actually be a problem on the ESCs. Then we have DMAG compensation. That's actually really related to desyncs, and you don't want to have a desync on a quadcopter because that will cause it to come out of the sky. Uh, so just go ahead and leave that low. If you put that as high, it can cause more desyncs. So just leave that as low. Motor timing. This is pretty much um, your timing where you can, it's kind of like related to a car. You know, you can advance the timing on your motors to get more power out of them. And, or if you, you know, left the motor timing alone, uh, you can go ahead and get more maybe efficiency out of the motors. Uh, but I like, I think a happy medium is 16 degrees. I think you can also do maybe auto on this, but maybe they don't have that anymore. They used to have auto, but nope. So that's 16 is pretty much a happy medium in between. <clears throat> then maximum acceleration. This is pretty much just how much um, current and voltage uh, will go through it when you're trying to accelerate. Um, there's no reason not to have it on maximum when we're using mini quads. So just leave it on maximum. This is how you can set your uh, current sensor on your um, ESCs. Uh, so if you have a way to uh, measure the amp draw and the current, uh, that's how you'd go ahead and do the plus and minus to adjust that. Then we have the minimum throttle. We leave those alone because we use those. That's how we set it up in uh, beta flight or butterflight. Uh, brake on stop. This is actually have to do with um, more fixed wings aircraft because you'd probably want this on, uh, but you don't want this on when you're dealing with a uh, with a multi rotor. Uh, pretty much what happens is when you reduce the throttle to none it just applies um, electricity or voltage to the motors to cause them to stop then you have none damp mode um, I believe let me see here I think this one I had confusion over this one let me see if I can find it really quick 
Now, there's not really a lot of information on it, um, but I leave it off. I don't have any problems leaving it off. So, and then this is pretty much your startup beat tone uh, when you you know plug in your battery. This is how loud the beep will be. Now, beacon, that is actually how long it will go. Say, for instance, you crashed and you were you know you didn't know where it was. Well, this is pretty much how loud that volume will be because right here the delay see now right now it says 10 minutes from the time I plug this battery in till it'll start beeping and then that's directly related to the volume now this is PWM frequency I did a video which I'll probably leave uh, a link just to show you how to change it it was really easy you just change rank it up when you're running D shot 1200 you can rank this up to 48 kilohertz this pretty much just provides uh, your motors they will get a little more smoother response from the ESC's um, it's actually all internal, so this is not increasing, you know, D shot 2400 or anything like that. This is pretty much just incre increasing the internal, um, I guess, computer power or megahertz wise of how everything is talking to inside the ESC. So it actually does prov uh, cause you guys to get cleaner and smoother motors, uh, and also it should actually reduce um, your. Um, the heat buildup in your motors too because they're running cooler so that's something you can play around with too as well um, but other than that I think that's pretty much all uh, BHeli 32 uh, guide um, there are also these sections here where you can kind of see all your um, selections here like see I have more motor 2 and motor 3 reversed um, sometimes you you know reverse motor 1 sometimes you reverse motor 4 whatever way you have it wired up is how you know you reverse them um, and then this is another cool little spot here. This is where you could um, test your motors. Instead of being in uh, beta flight or butterflight, you can be in here and you can test which way your motors are spinning. So instead of having to jump over to butterflight or beta flight to check that. Um, and then you have this interface section. This is for Adrenos and whatnot. But that's pretty much the entire um, everything about BHeli 32 that you should, probably should know and pretty much just how to set it up. Um, so um, if you have any questions, leave it down in the comments. I'll be happy to answer any questions you guys have. And uh, look forward to some future content. I really appreciate you guys watching. I'll see you guys again. Peace.